this is the 8th so expensive. It's a Minecraft fan and I am making a YouTube video of not the Testarossa, not the Silica GT4, not any of these. I'm just having a look at what I can purchase. Ferrari Dino or Dino. Let's see. A classic 60, 70 car. Let's customize. But first, we need to go to Digi Auto and maintenance. Can we make it a wide body? Yes, we can. But it cost 100k. And no, I haven't had this car before because it says not acquired. So let's go to wheels and customize. I like to choose the American Racing because they suit classic cars. Some. Now let's go customization. We can add a splitter or remove the front bumper completely, which I kind of like. We can remove the front bumper off this one. Rear bumper on it. The rear wing is going to be Type A, which is a duck wing or a lip or a custom wing set, which probably not because it looks, reminds me of the Forza wing. Now we have to do bonnet pin, probably not, toe hook, mm, no, let's go, lights, daylight, and coffee plate. That's it. Now we can do the suspension. Let's go fully customized for suspension. which cost 24k we cannot do the other ones let's make it as low as possible we choose 80 millimeters adjust the camber to 2.0 Toe angle to zero and the downforce rear minimum and front max. Now it looks like a proper race car, but what else does it need? Delivery. This has only been driven 10k kilometers, which is not very much. Let's go to the showcase and find some liveries that we can use. Look at all these classic liveries. Let's go to the most popular one. This is the Watkins Glen livery. Now let's apply it to the car. I may have to remove some things off the car that I don't want. For example, if it has a tow hook, then I'll remove the tow hook. I know now it's going to have a tow hook because I saw it on there. And also different wheels, as you can see. Which is very expensive. So, probably not. And it costs 25k in total.
so I'm not going to reply that. What if I make my own livery like this? Should I apply it or not? The answer is yes. I always apply all my liveries depending on what I'm track I'm on. For example, if I'm on Lehman's with my Ferrari 458 Italia GT4 or Group 4, then I always apply different liveries for different videos. If you watch my different videos, you'll see the different liveries. I've made a new one two days ago, but I haven't made a video of it just yet. I'll be able to test drive it in a video soon.